So I have a little bit of white paint, acrylic paint here on my tray. I'm going to mix in a little bit of yellow to soften it and a little tiny bit of black to tone it down. And I keep mixing, dabbing, I'm using a stencil brush until I like it. So I want to make a value that's going to show up on my painted interfacing. For example, here's a piece that's been painted turquoise and I can use a stencil, fill my paintbrush up. Now you see how the paint kind of gathers on the edges like that? It's a good idea to roll it and get that excess off the edge, just like that. Now, I'm going to start dabbing the paint on through the circles, not evenly, just kind of, and then I can add a little more white so they don't all be the same exact type of yellow, have a little more white in them. I like to mix it up. I like to bounce around. You can move around. You can take a peek underneath, see what's happening. So that's the circles. Can also use a cardboard, piece of corrugated cardboard. Makes a great stamp, just swipe some on there, kind of swipe it over the surface, just want, to, want it to catch on the bumps of the cardboard. I'm just taking some dabs of paint randomly and spreading them on here. Then push it down, press with my fingers. And voila! You can go different directions. Usually you have to put paint each time. Again, you want, you don't need to have uniform. It's just something very slight. It's a slight texture. The other tool I love to use is this toilet paper roll, which is kind of funny but it makes a great stamp and I used circles as my motif on the current look so this made a great circle without being a perfect circle it makes a really nice irregular sort of circle and then if you stamp once and you don't like it or you want to make it more emphasized more just go right next to it do another one it's always good to hang some off the edge like that then the other nice tool is the sea sponge where you could just tap into each color a little bit and add texture that way. Now the object is to not overdo it. You want to do just a bit. So I'm going to put this one aside and let it dry and I'm going to show you another one. Here's another one that's done in the Dilutions colors which was Sunshine Yellow and uh, no, Pierce Sunshine and Lemon Yellow. That's what it was. And I might have added some Butterscotch. Butterscotch tones the colors down very nice because the dilutions are very bright. So I, you can see I use the um, corrugated cardboard on here to add this texture. So what's really interesting is transparencies, layering the transparencies. So I'm going to show you if you see what happens. 
So this is orange. This is a piece of organza that's been painted with some green and some yellow and some looks like butterscotch maybe. If I lay that over there, you see the difference? Isn't that amazing? So that's what that one does. That's the effect of this one. Amazing. I love working with transparencies. Now this one's been, this piece of silk organza has been dyed with, or with the ink dye, the ink paint, and um, looks like espresso and butterscotch. Maybe a little red. And lay that over there and look how beautiful. Now, can you see how the corrugated cardboard stamp is diffused? And it just looks like a texture. It's not obvious, it's just a subtle texture. So this has texture and this has texture. And you put the two together, you get an amazing combination. Let's see what happens with purple. I have some purple silk organs. I use the uh, dilutions on this. The um, after midnight and vibrant turquoise beautiful purple now so what happens is you see more red but it's not that doesn't appeal to me as much but it's still interesting to look at and, and consider I like to that's where the experimentation comes in you make enough pieces to play with and mix them around and see what happens. Now this piece of silk is very pale. It's probably not going to do much on here. It's not, not working very well. Well let's for fun try it on turquoise. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's a surprise. I kind of like that. Uh, let's see what the brownish one does on the turquoise. Well, that's pretty pretty nice too if you want to go that direction as you can see you just don't know until you try them 